also being released this week, is Retaking America, in which Australian author Nick Adams argues that political correctness is responsible for the problems America faces today. Tom Wainwright examines the business of drug cartels and outlines how to defeat them and narconomics. And in the fight to vote, Michael Waldman, president of the Brennan Center for Justice at NYU School of Law, explores the history of voting rights. Look for these titles in bookstores this coming week and watch for the authors in the near future on Book TV. Tonight it's my pleasure to introduce you to Dr. Ronald Feynman. He specializes in, 19th, in 20th century American history with an emphasis on political and diplomatic history. He has taught courses at Florida Atlantic University on America 1900 to 1945, FDR and New Deal era, U.S. 1945 to the present, and America in the 1960s. Feynman is also the author of Twilight of Pro Progressivism, The Western Republic, and Senators, and The New Deal. He currently writes for a blog, www.theprogressiveprofessor.com. I welcome Ron Feynman. Thank you very much, Stephanie. I really appreciate your introduction. I want to begin by uh, thanking certain people. I want to thank Stephanie and the Sandler Center for inviting me uh, to speak here on my book. I want to thank C-SPAN for agreeing to uh, indeed tape this event and put it on book TV in a few weeks. I want to also thank my sons David Feynman and Paul Feynman for always being there for me. Uh, you, know, we're, you know, we're definitely a very close family. I want to also thank uh, one of my colleagues and former student David Glauber uh, who took me for courses at both Broward College and Florida Atlantic University. Uh, as I always say, he majored in Feynman and minored in history. He took me eight times. I guess he liked me. And he now teaches at Broward College. And he helped me with uh, the PowerPoint that I'm going to use, because uh, I'm not that techni technically savvy, and also with the index and the charts in my book. So I want to definitely thank David Glauber for that. 